Welcome everybody. Today I'm looking at Uber Student, which is a LXDE lightweight version of the um, Uber Student 2.0. This is based off of Ubuntu, or in this case, um, Lubuntu, perhaps. And uh, what they're doing here is this is a um, distribution geared towards higher education and um, high school students. Um, but it, of course anyone that wants to use it can. So let's take a look at a lot of the files that are included. We've got catfish with, which is a file search, Dropbox, XF burn, donating to the Uber student um, project, file manager, this is PC man FM. Calculator, GPA calculator, leaf pad, LX terminal. Oh, that's awesome. You can tabulate your grade point average. Resume builder. Oh, that's interesting. Let's take a quick look at this and see what that's like. Sure, why not? Well, it looks like this might be a web based. Um, web-based uh, service. So what it's doing is making use of Ubuntu's web app uh, infrastructure and uh, what they've done is add applications within relevant areas within the menu. So we've got eWipe for presentations, uh, Prezi, Prezi for presentations, this is actually another web-based presentations tool program, Abby Word. I'm actually surprised that I don't see um, LibreOffice in here, but maybe it's in here if I keep going further. Hacking College, the ebook edition. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Sure does seem to have a lot of uh, included applications and web apps that I wouldn't even cons uh, think about including in a distribution. But this is not a very bad way of um, organizing um, a desktop environment. Think of it as maybe something you'd want to put in a career services lab or anywhere else at a university or a college. Pepsi Pinball, you got to be kidding me. So it's a web-based pinball game. I'm a little offended to see that they have an advertisement for Pepsi essentially in their uh, video games, but whatever. They make up for it by having some penguin games in here. Hmm. Oh, I've played this before. Enough of the fiddling about. Let's see what else we got here. Under graphics, we've got Color Hunter. Oh, I'm actually a little bummed out that they don't have um, the uh, GIMP installed. Along with the uh, image viewers and the paint editors, I mean, let's face it, uh, GIMP is probably the foremost important uh, image manipulation program for uh, Linux. And in fact, a lot of people um, that don't even use Linux use GIMP on PCs and Macs just to avoid paying for, um, for Adobe uh, Photoshop. Bunch of web apps there under Internet. Multimedia. Curious. Yeah, of course it's not going to work because I'm working in um, VirtualBox and I haven't set that up yet. App to menu. Interesting. What does this do? So you copy the um, complete URL there and enter the name for it. Oh, wonderful. And you could drop it into your menu. So let's say you want to create a um, 
a Facebook um, web app, you would go in here and this would actually be pretty good, um, a pretty wonderful uh, tool for creating your own um, customized version of a distribution within an office even. Uh, you could put some web-based links um, into the distribution itself so that you don't have to worry about um, bookmarking it on every browser. So let's go and drop this into, um, why not internet for instance, create, close, and see if it pops up here how well this works. Whoops. I could definitely take the time to, oh that is really cool definitely take the time to um, go in and change the icons put uh, putting the particular logos oh Google Chrome is pre-installed which I'm sure I was looking at just only a second ago needless to say I'm actually very impressed uh, let's take a quick look at the CPU usage uh, even with Chrome open I'm only using about, oh wow, this is cool. This is the great thing about LXDE and OpenBox is that you can use a mere 120 megs. And although I'm running the uh, i386 uh, version, um, I'm pretty sure you could just go in and um, get the 64-bit one. Oh wow, that's convenient. Well, anyway, um, this is really something. So if you're uh, curious about a distribution um, that is geared towards education, perhaps give uh, Uber Student a shot. And um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks again for watching.